St. Blaise Church is the best preserved of the surviving early Christian sites on Butte. Leave your car in the parking area at the end of the public road two miles south of Kingarth and walk up the well signposted and beautifully grassy track towards the trees on the skyline to the northeast. The hillside opens out into a broad bowl and above this is a flat area bounded by tree top flow cliffs to your left and sheltered from the north and east by rising ground. Here you find the church and its walled enclosures. Most of the remains you see today of the nave and part of the chancel date back to 1100s. The upper and lower churchyards come complete with a large selection of fairly worn grave slabs. Men would have been buried in the upper churchyard and women in the lower churchyard. One or two of the slabs still show traces of having been highly decorated at one time. The low remains of another building in the lower churchyard are thought to have been of a small chapel. The first Christian settlement on this site took place as early as end of the 500s when St. Catherine established a monastery here. He was succeeded as abbot of the monastery and bishop of the area by his nephew, who later went on to become St. Blaine. St. Blaine is perhaps better remembered for lending his name to Dumblaine, which he later established, but it was on Butte that he started his religious work. The monastery existed peacefully until the late 700s, when the sudden deaths of two abbots in 776 and 790 are thought to have been the result of Viking raids. Butte became part of the Norse Empire and it seems likely that the monastery was abandoned sometime around the year 800.
With a little imagination, it is also possible to trace the fragmentary remains of buildings near the foot of the cliff, near the well that might have provided accommodation for monks in this original monastery.